Hello students. In this video, I'm going to try to convince you that um, this matrix system, AX equals B, really is a linear combination of um, the columns of A, um, and they're set equal to the right-hand side B. So um, I have a specific example to show you here. And um, I encourage you to watch uh, my other video where I go from a linear system to this matrix equation system. I um, encourage you to watch those videos, uh, that video and this video in, um, in tandem with one another. Okay? All right. So um, the vector 2, 6, 1 here, um, I claim, is a linear combination of the columns of this matrix. That means that I'm taking the vector x1, x2, x3, and... I'm uh, taking the component x1 and I'm multiplying it by this column here, and then I'm adding it to x2 times the second column plus x3 times the third column. And when you take a scalar like x1 multiplied by the first column, x2 times the second column plus x3 times the third column, when you do that operation, we call that a linear combination. That is actually just matrix vector multiplication, and it looks like that. So you might be used to seeing matrix vector multiplication as you take this column and you multiply it by this row, and then you take this column and you multiply it by the second row, and you take this column and you multiply it by the third row. Well, examine what you're doing. When you do that, you take this column vector and you multiply it by the first row. You're taking x1 and you're multiplying it by the first component. When you, when you want to get the next component here, you take this column vector and you multiply it by the second column. So you're taking x1 and you're multiplying it by... 3, you're taking x1, in the next case, multiplying by minus 1, you're taking x1 and multiplying it by 1. So whenever you did mul matrix vector multiplies, when you took this column vector and multiplied it by the top row, then took this column, multiplied by second row, and took this column, multiplied it by the third row, you took x1 and you multiplied it by the first column in every case. You took x2 and you multiplied it by the second column in every case. And you took x3 and you multiplied it by the third column in every case. That's what we're doing here. This thing here, this matrix vector multiplication, this is called a linear combination. So what we're saying here when we have a linear system is we're saying that the vector 2, 6, 1 is a linear combination of the columns of this matrix. And now this linear combination can be written as a linear system. If I take the x1 and I distribute it into this vector, and I take the x2 and I distribute it into this second vector, and I take x3 and I distribute it into this third vector, I get the following linear system, and then I can simplify that linear system so it looks like a linear system that you may be more familiar with. So this is how we can go from um, a matrix equation to a linear system, and in a previous video, I went from the linear system to the matrix system. And in between, I try, I'm trying my best to convince you that this is really, this system of equations is really a linear combination of the columns of the matrix A. All right, good luck.